Hey, it's Joey with TechNet Edge, and I'm here with... I'm Mike Tejador. I'm a product manager for BI here at Microsoft. So, Michael, we talked probably almost a year ago now this yeah. time. We, we talked a little bit about business intelligence and IT pros. Yes. You called me and you said, hey, look, we've got some exciting stuff coming out in regards to BI. So, tell me what it is. Let's not hold everybody up. So, we've made a very exciting decision, and that is um, we're taking the Performance Point Server product, and we're going to merge it, and we're going to integrate it, um, and make it part of SharePoint. Uh, and what that means is we're taking those great BI capabilities and we're going to uh, move it down to the platform so it sits beside um, capabilities such as search, such as enterprise uh, content management, and such as uh, collaboration, and just be part of the SharePoint platform. Okay, so first question, what's Performance Point? <laughs> so Performance Point Server is a, cap uh, a product that provi uh, provides performance management capabilities. And what that means is that um, in the product, I get uh, a dashboard designer. And the dashboard designer allows me to pull together various pieces of, of information from around my organization for my end users. So I can uh, pull together an, uh, into a dashboard um, an Excel file uh, through Excel services. I can pull together a report from reporting services. I can pull together a Visio diagram, and I can, I can integrate it all in this one dashboard uh, through a common set of, of filters and dialogues. And what that allows me to do is pull the information together so my end users have one location where they can go and get the information that they need. Why SharePoint? Why, why bring that into SharePoint? Well, SharePoint is um, a, a great uh, environment uh, for uh, productivity. So in this SharePoint environment, I've got all those great capabilities I just talked about. And by moving BI into that environment, it allows us um, to better integrate uh, the experience between BI and search, for example, uh, and the other capabilities. It's great for our IT pro community because now they have one environment that they manage and they secure. Um, and for the end users, uh, it's a great benefit because um, they now have much more integrated and seamless experiences uh, between classic BI capabilities uh, and some other workloads and experiences that they do on a daily basis at work. So it's great for, for everybody. Um, and one of the reasons, one of the key reasons that we went ahead and, and sort of decided to do something along this lines was it was really based on customer feedback. A lot of customers are out there evaluating and deploying SharePoint and they wanted to be able to more easily deploy information out into their user base. Uh, and they saw SharePoint as a great uh, sort of medium for, for doing that. So if you're familiar with SharePoint, it's going to make it a lot easier to start transitioning in and talk about this business intelligence and start getting into the business intelligence aspects of things? Yes, so well. Um, if I have uh, SharePoint uh, skill sets inside my organization, it's going to be much easier for me to now manage and deploy uh, BI out into uh, into my user community because I'll have that skill set in place. Um, and what the BI components allow me to do is really build out uh, very quickly uh, dashboards and scorecards to service the needs of my end users. Um, one of the key benefits uh, really uh, from an end user perspective is it allows you to define key performance indicators, for example, like we were saying, uh, to really keep a pulse of how performance is doing inside my organization. But from an IT perspective, uh, you can also use, and we talked about this in our last podcast, uh, Performance Point Server to manage the health of my IT uh, business, my, my department. So I can uh, track things such as service level agreements. How am I doing against certain service level agreements? Um, and then uh, be able to track that performance and communicate that performance out into um, uh, sort of my management chain as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a very flexible tool that has a broad applications around the arena of really being able to manage uh, performance of particular metrics. So me as an IT pro, if I'm familiar with SharePoint, I'm not going to really have to do a heck of a lot of heavy lifting. In terms of learning the performance point piece, it's going to kind of fit right in look familiar to me. That's right, yeah. So that um, going forward, uh, it, it really becomes an integrated part of SharePoint. So if I'm familiar with SharePoint, it'll be much easier for me to transition those skills over to deploying BI inside my organization. So do I have to wait until you guys ship the next version of SharePoint before I can take advantage of this? No, actually one of the, the great things that we've decided to do 
is that uh, instead of making people wait until the next version of SharePoint for them to uh, get Performance Point Server as a, as a, a capability, uh, we're actually going to offer the Performance Point Server product today um, as, a, uh, as a, uh, uh, a benefit uh, to all SharePoint customers who have uh, an enterprise Cal and who have software assurance to download and to deploy and use um, and, and be able to really benefit from um, better decision making. Particularly today, it's, um, it's a, a good environment to be able to uh, allow people to make more informed decisions when they're making such critical decisions such as which projects do I need to cut, um, which of my customers are uh, still buying so I can target them, which of my marketing campaigns are leading so I can lead with those. Um, so uh, now more than ever, making informed decisions is, is critical. Um, so a lot of our customers are using Performance Point Server to a great benefit today, um, and uh, we want to offer those capabilities to all our SharePoint customers. Is there any reason for me to wait until the next version of SharePoint comes out? Um, there really isn't. So uh, the capabilities, uh, the dashboards that you, that you create in Performance Point Server, uh, they'll deploy up into the next version of SharePoint. So don't lose any of the uh, time and the effort you, you, you spend today in making um, sort of these dashboards and these scorecards. Um, and also, you know, a lot of our customers are really benefiting from Performance Point Server today. Um, so there's no reason why you can't do the same, um, especially since now it's, it's it's a benefit if you're a SharePoint customer to just download and use it. So I, I actually expect a lot of people to, uh, to use the uh, Performance Point Server product in lieu uh, of waiting. Just to make it absolutely clear, the, the, the two rules around me being able to get it now as a SharePoint customer. Uh, again, it's the enterprise uh, license, correct? Yeah, you need an enterprise license agreement. Okay. And you need to have uh, software assurance. To be okay. Able to download. Sounds pretty easy. So where can I go to get more information about this offering and, and BI in general? Yeah, so if you want more information on, on uh, Performance Point Server integration with SharePoint, the promotion, or any information about uh, our, our BI offering, uh, go to microsoft.com uh, forward slash BI. Uh, and uh, that's our, our website where we host all our information. All right. Michael, thanks for your time. Thanks, Joey.